All right, we're talking about this congruent triangle concept where all six parts are the same, but we, but we don't want to measure all six parts. I want to know what's the minimum that I could measure, and they'd still be exactly the same. Now, if I only measure three and I get the same triangles, that still means all six are the same, not just the three that I measured. That's this whole point of congruency. What three is what I'm working on now. Um, can I measure so that all six will be the same? And let's look at something that has two sides and one angle. Now, there's two different ways we can do that. Uh, the first way is if we know what's called side angle side. Side angle side. And that's because I know the side, an angle right next to it, and then the side right next to it. Otherwise talked about, I know the angle that's in between two sides. The angle in between two sides. All right, so we're going to make a couple triangles. Here's our base. Uh, someone tells you you got a 6, a 4.2, and a 60 degree in between them. So I've copied the 4.2, the 6, and the 60. And again, we can make those any size we want because, you know, they're all on a slider. Okay. Now the question is, if I were now to complete the triangle, do I make the same exact triangle every time? And we'll just grab a segment, and we will complete this triangle. And then we will complete this triangle. So they both have the same criteria. 4.2, 60, 6.3. 4.2, 60, 6.3. They both have a side, angle, side. And now the question is, is that third side the same? 5.4, 5.4. Are those angles the same? Are all six parts the same? 40.92. What are you thinking? 40.92. Again, if we know two angles, don't we know the third one? Yeah, but we'll just uh, do it here for some people. Whoop, I already did 60. Command Z, undo that. Da, 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 da. 79.27. It's a little rounding thing with the 0 0.27, the 0 0.92. Um, da, 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 da. Hey, look, all three parts, all six parts are the same. So, we got the corners, the top corner is the same. That's the same, same, 60, 60, 60, yeah. So side, angle, side. If you know those three parts in that order, you'll get the same triangle. So there's one other order that we could do um, two sides and an angle. That's knowing the side, the side, and an angle. So I know a side, I know a side, I know an angle. And as you see here, I've got this where the third side is going to kind of show up because of that angle. There's a 44 degree angle right here. So it's got to show up. This third side's got to show up on that line. And notice, oh, let's connect. Uh, you know, AC is going to be the third side of our triangle. So, you know, here's going to be the third side. Now, it's got to show up on that line, though, because that's our 44 degree angle. So, boom, there is, almost perfect, there is a triangle. But here's the problem. I can make two triangles. I can make that one, or if I rotate this 6.6 .6 in some more, it shows up there also with that 44. It's on that 44 line. So this side-side angle actually doesn't work. Not because I can make an infinite number of triangles, like the angle, 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 but because I can make more than one. Our goal here is to find the criteria that allows us to make one and only one triangle. So this SSA concept does not work. Where SAS before did work. Remember that.